Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to share pages and collaborate in Notion. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to share pages and collaborate in Notion. The first thing you need to do is to open the Notion page you want to share. Of course, after signing into Notion. How do you do that? You have to navigate to the page you want to share by selecting it from the sidebar or creating a new one. So go ahead and click on this create a new page button to create a new page or you just head over here in the side panel to search for any existing page you want to perform the function in. So right here I have a page and it is called to do. The next thing is to click on the share button of your page. So let's say I am done with whatever I want to do right here in this to do page and I want to share it. Here's what I'm definitely going to do. Grammarly, please excuse me. So I'm going to have to click on the share button, which is in the top right corner of the page. Now, once you click on it, it takes you to the sharing options. Now you have the sharing options over here. So a drop down menu appear with the, with the sharing settings, which is actually here. And then you have two tabs, which include share and of course you have publish. So you can go over here to click on this copy link option for you to share to web so that anybody can actually access it. Or you can use this option, right? To invite only if you want to or anyone with the link at Amanda Max Notion can have access to it. So people invited and workspace members with the link can access or you can set it to everyone at Amanda Max Notion will be able to access it. Then the next step is to invite collaborators to your page to invite specific people to collaborate. All you have to do is to head over here in this section. Now, go ahead and enter the email of the person or the group that you want to add. Once you add the person, then go ahead and add other persons. You can, you can add more than one. Just go ahead and add your collaborators. And once you're done entering the info, you can, of course, choose their access level by clicking on this drop down menu. Now, you can set it to full access, meaning they can edit, share and manage the page. You can set it to can edit, meaning they can view, comment and edit the page. You can set it to comment, can comment, meaning they can view and comment. And you can set it to can view, meaning they can only view the page. Once you're done setting the access or giving the necessary permissions, go ahead and copy the link. Okay, so go ahead and click on invite if you want to, but I just don't want to invite the person. So once you're done, copy the link from here. And once you copy the link, you'll be able to share the link. Of course, after adding the person's name, don't forget to click on the invite button. And the person will definitely receive the message via mail. And once the person accepts the invite, the person will become an official collaborator. That's pretty much the process. Now, you can control who can duplicate the page, add comments, or view it offline. And these settings are available in advanced permission section beneath the sharing options. Then, once people are added to the page, you will see their icons appear in the top right corner. Collaborators can add comments, edit the content, and contribute to the page in view time. Collaborators can also leave comments on specific blocks by hovering over a block and clicking the speech bubble icon. This opens... This opens up a thread where people can discuss ideas or changes directly within the page. By following these tabs, you can easily share Notion pages and collaborate efficiently with your team or external contributors using the latest interface of Notion. Now you can go by the tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And of course, once you are done, you will be good to go. I hope this tutorial marvelously helped you search.